Black World, Black World, Black World TV. Welcome, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, to Black World TV, the new black media. Today's broadcast is about art and how it's valued. So, the artist Jean Michael Basquiat's his famous Negro Athletes picture here could sell for 3.5 million at an auction. Now, as you look at this family, I want you to see that it's titled Famous Negro Athletes. And as you could see, it's four black faces sketched with their teeth showing with a baseball underneath with the words Famous Negro Athletes printed right below and then you see the artist's signature. The work of the iconic late painter Jean Michael Basquiat has seen its influence and value increase exponentially since he died in 1988 at just 27 years old. A new auction hosted by Sotheby's is set to further cement his legacy with the sale of one of Basquiat's most exhibited creations. Part of the personal collection belonging to the late editor and writer and man about town Glenn O'Brien, famous Negro athletes was originally made as a graffiti mural. Basquiat recreated the piece using oil stick on paper in 1981 as a gift for O'Brien, whom he befriended after the writer covered his graffiti work for High Times in early 1979. One day, I walked by the tire store near my apartment and there was a huge mural with three angry, rather it's four, angry black faces and the legend, quote, famous Negro athletes, recalled O'Brien. When I saw him later, I said, that's the best thing I've ever seen. The next day, he brought me one on paper. Well, let me pause for a second. It's interesting that this Glenn O'Brien went to the artist and said that when he saw him, he said that, quote, that's the best thing I've ever seen. What he was saying is that this picture of four angry black faces who is supposedly representing famous Negro athletes, he's saying it's one of the best things he's ever seen. I say that this so-called painting, this sketch, is an abomination, in my opinion. It's a four black faces that looks like they were scribbled and showing that they're angry for some reason and since when do we see angry athletes pictured anywhere aside from painting like this but nonetheless this artist decided to title it for famous angry not athletes and we're trying to figure out who are they if they're famous, who are they? There's no names or anything associated with it. But, nonetheless, the piece was political in the sense that it presented so simply how society expected black people to be athletes and not painters, O'Brien said. It's a theme that Basquiat explored throughout his career and emphasized when he said, quote, I think there's a lot of people that are neglected in art, unquote. Sotheby's Contemporary Art Evening Auction is set for November 14th. Famous Negro Athletes is expected to sell for between 2.5 and 3.5 million dollars. So next up we have this so-called masterpiece which was found in a French woman's kitchen and it sells for 26.6 million dollars. So an old painting found in the kitchen of an elderly French woman who considered it an icon of little importance, well, it's made her a multi-millionaire. The work, a masterpiece attributed to the 13th century Italian painter Simbeu that was discovered earlier this year sold for 24 million euros on Sunday or 26.6 million dollars. It's titled Christ Mocked. The painting measures about 10 inches by 8 inches. So 
this third piece that I want to touch on is a Yves Klein painting and it could sell for a record breaking 18 million at an auction. The work is from 1960, Barbara, and it's part of Klein's fabled Anthropometries series. And Barbara has been valued with an estimate of 12 million to 18 million and has the potential to beat the auction record for the Anthropometry series. Currently 12.4 million for one of the other paintings which sold at Christie's back in 2010. So why am I doing this broadcast? Because I wanted you to see how black art sells for a whole lot less than what they value European art. As you've noted this picture that so-called Christ mocked is at a 26.6 million dollar price tag and yet this painting that's pictured before your eyes right here is valued in their estimate at 18 million. Now these are European or Eurocentric value based prices for artwork that they the Europeans deem high art and I say as Black World TV, as the new black media, that as black people, artists, you should also value your art at a high price also. I believe I've seen so much black art out there that is worthy of way more than what these Europeans are charging for their artwork. What they do is they allow these Europeans to go to these art schools and because they spend the dollar amounts that they spend taking up art learning how to be artists and then producing if you will art what's pictured here the famous Negro athletes for instance and they get to value their art in the millions of dollars and I feel like foundational black American artists who whose art is beautiful 10 times nicer than what I've seen from Eurocentric artists. Our art is way undervalued, and I'm proposing that we relook at that, that we not validate European art by purchasing it at these higher dollar amounts. Because if you are a black person of affluence and you have the money to pay for fine art, if you buy any of the art presented by the Eurocentrics in the millions or even hundreds of thousands of dollars and you neglect black art, then what you're doing is you are validating this racist Eurocentric art scam that's going on in the world. And again, this is what they do for European artists only. With that, this is Black World TV bringing you another broadcast. Thanks for joining. Peace out.